Hello and welcome back to the channel. I have finally got 10 minutes to come on and show you um, my Titanic junk journal that I made. Now I just want to say that all the images that are inside this journal um, I got from Google Images and they are all copyright free. Now most of them are images that have been photographed from images of images of images they are not photographs of um not the original documents or anything like that so you have to be careful when you're making these junk journals especially if you're making them to sell because you can um get done with the copyright and it's intellectual property so do be careful when you're doing that but most of the images as you'll see things like that they're they're, they're really really widely available the amount of pictures that are out there of the titanic um, the ones that are in newspapers, old articles and newspapers and things like that, they don't have copyright. Obviously, if you were um, selling them as your own work, your own pictures, then copyright would affect you um, as you're passing it off as your own. And it's plagiarism if you were saying that you'd written the article or you took the photographs or if there was a specific photograph that had been taken and the person had protected it then you would be breaking copyright laws. But I just wanted to say that because I was watching, um, I can't remember the lady's name, and she had started to, she was going to dismantle a lot of her journals because somebody had said something to her on YouTube about her journals. But copyright laws, they seem like they're difficult and they seem like they're quite complicated. Basically, as long as you make sure that you're not trying to pass something off as your own, you're not trying to, that's called accepting the intellectual property. As long as you're not doing that, you're not, I mean, like this picture is um, a picture of a replica of the flyer for the Titanic. Now, one, it's a replica. Two, um, it was from a newspaper. And three, if you really wanted to, all you have to do is type it in to the internet and you can find out whether a picture, a specific picture by a specific um, author or journalist is protected. So all these ones aren't anyway. So I spent two minutes <laughs> talking about copyright. It's just so that, you know, if you are making junk journals, to be aware of it, don't try and take anybody's original artwork and pass it off as your own or use any um, images that are copyright protected. So this is my junk journal and it is of the absolutely gorgeous Titanic. Now, I love the story of the Titanic. It is one that touches everybody's heart. It's It was so sad, so much hope and then so much devastation and... It's, it's just, it was horrible, but it's one, it's a story that I think enthralls us all. So, I wanted to make this book. Now, I've tied it up with this um, netting. It looks like the fisherman's netting. So, I'm going to open this at the front. Now, I've also put on a magnet, a strip of magnet, but... Because I've put so much in the book, it's not holding. I am going to get stronger magnet magnetic tape to hold it. But to be honest, you don't need it because it's tied to post anyway. I might actually just cover that up with a bit of paper so you don't even know that it's there. So, what it is, is this book closes like that and then closes over like that. So, you don't see what's inside it from the side. Now, there she is. Beautiful picture of the Titanic. Look at her in all her glory. She's got a tugboat and she's absolutely gorgeous. And this says the Titanic, the world's largest liner from Southampton to New York via Cherbourg and Queenstown. And it's the White Star Line. She was an absolutely magnificent ship. Look at that. The unsinkable Titanic. Beautiful. And on the side, I've put on a charm with all different bits and pieces on it. And got a leaf and a flower and some beads and down here I've also put on a wee ship's wheel. I've used this paper pad because I thought it was quite appropriate and it's the Seize the Day paper pad by um, I think it's let's have a wee look it's Crafts for Crafts You Create paper pad and it's this one, the Seize the Day one so I've used that to make my cover. Now, on the cover, I've also made this wee peg. I think that's really cute. And then, let's have a wee look inside. 
Give me a second. Okay, so I got interrupted there, sorry. So yeah, where was I? So I got, I made this um, peg and the, this button was from the lovely Pip. She sent me these in part of my 1000 subscriber entry into my challenge. So I made that one from that that she made. Now, as you see, you can see the front. So if we open it up, we have the first two pages. Now wait and I'll see if I can tip this down a wee bit. We've got the first two pages. Now in this one, I've just put RMS Titanic and I've put on a wee wooden embellishment, a wee anchor, and I've made a pocket. Now, the first thing I've made is this library card. And I've just put on the red um, gromlet and I've edged it with the blue ink. Now, this has got like space for the author and things like that. And so I thought that the person that receives this could put their, like, who this book belongs to on there. And then I also made a boarding pass. And I know on this phone, I say it all the time, it's always dodgy and it always affords things. Back to front. Wait a minute, I'm trying to get this down a bit so you can see it a wee bit better. Okay, so, yeah, so I made the boarding pass and it says White Star Line boarding pass, permission granted to come aboard White Star Line's RMS Titanic. Ismay, Imre and Co. Now, she's RMS Titanic because she was actually a Royal Mail ship. Not a lot of people know that about the Titanic. She had a post office on board. So I made that. And then the next page that I made was from some manuscript paper. And every page in between I've put on different washi tape. Because it's a junk journal, I like it to be quite random. And then I put on this wee strip with the anchors on it. So you've got your manuscript paper. So there's loads of journal in here. It is a junk journal, so... It wouldn't be right to fill up all the paper pages. And then we've got this wee map paper. And then I've made this pocket here. Now inside this pocket, I'll just slip this out. I made this um, wee letter that I've tied up with the red and white jute string. And it's all edged with the red ink. And this is actually an information sheet. And it's Titanic, and it's 100 years, it was the anniversary of Titanic, the 100 years, um, in 2012, uh, 2000, yeah, 2012. Um, so this gives you a bit of information about how many survivors there were from first class, how many perished from first class, same as second class, third class, and the crew. Um, so the, like, there was 214 of the crew survived, there was 685 of the crew perished. It tells you from the time um, that the Titanic departed from Queenstown with 2,223 people aboard. And then it tells you the Carpathia arrives in New York with 706 survivors. So it gives you the time frame, everything in between that. Then it tells you a bit about the iceberg and a bit about the ship and how she flooded and a beautiful picture of her. So this is, I really thought um, this was a really cool piece to include in the junk journal because it's just, you know, I think it's nice just to be able to read up and see what actually happened. So, we'll just tie that back up. So it's like a wee letter. And that just goes in there. And then the next page I made was this one. Now this is just a boarding, pa uh, boarding pass again. It's just a larger one. We've got all this journal and space here. This page is a picture of her when she was in dock before she, got, before she left. So this is her in Southampton. And then I've put in some of this gorgeous card, more manuscript paper. And on the back of this one, I thought this was really interesting. You see, you've got the picture of the Titanic here and it says, Nearer my God to thee. And then it's got the music notes, um, the music paper, sorry. And 
at the bottom it says tells you the words of the song and it says him played by the bandsmen of the ss titanic as she sank to her doom on the 15th of april 1912 so this is what the bandsmen um they kept playing this right to the very end and this is the song that they played and if you turn this page over now this isn't about the titanic but i added this in anyway because i thought it was such an interesting story this is about the ship um Lusitania and it was hit by a German torpedo and sank um, and there was 1,000 Americans aboard and I think I think all people I think I don't think there was any survivors I'll check on the next page but I don't think there was and then so it's really an interesting piece I know it's not about the Titanic but it is about another ship um, that got sunk and it was just I thought it was really um, interesting so I popped that in then I put in some vellum and then some of this card that's got, um, what do you call it, the ship's notes on it. See if you see that. A bit better, like that. And then, with this striped paper. Now this is so cool. This is a blown up version of the flyer that was for um, the Titanic's launch. So what people didn't, a lot of people don't know, is you could go and watch the launching of the Titanic, Titanic from Belfast uh, on our way to Southampton. So this was on the 31st of May, 19, 1911 at 12.15pm. So that was her launch, so you could go and see her being launched. So that was really cool, that's a flyer for that. Then we've got more manuscript paper, more journal in space. And in the back of this one... This is actually about the captain. Um, his name was uh, Edward John Smith. There he is. There's a Titanic. And this is from the New York Times. Um, it says the Titanic sinks four hours after hitting an iceberg. 866 rescued by the Carpathia. Probably 1250 perish. Is May safe? Mrs. Astor may be. Noted names, one of the noted names missing. So that is really cool. I love that. And then I added in this card and it just says Deep Blue Sea and it's got the anchor. And then on this one, I really like this page. I made um, this little pocket and it's got the, I don't know if you can see the colour there, it looks black, but it's navy blue. And I made this out of um, a newspaper clipping about the Titanic. I just added on some card. And inside this pocket, and I've traced it all in red, and inside here, I have, this is the RMS Titanic's, the first class menu, April the 14th, 1912. And it says what they were having for dinner on the day that the ship sunk. And um, this is a first class menu and it is, there is 10 courses on here. Um, some of the things are really interesting actually, you can see the differences in time, like cold asparagus vinaigrette. Um, vegetable, marrow, Mussolini, cucumbers, poached salad. It's just fantastic. It's, I thought it was just such a nice piece of history to add in to see what they were eating at the time. Not just on the Titanic, but, you know, first class um, fare in 1912. So that is that wee pocket that I made there. And again, I've left lots of journal in space if you wanted to add pictures or add more ephemera. It's just it's really cool. Now this is... Um, uh, Receipt for passage on a German ship, and this ship was going to London. Um, let me see, I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, no, sorry, it wasn't to London, it was to New York. Purchased a receipt for prepaid passage. I just, um, or looks number F4. I just, I know that's not about the Titanic, but look how cool that is. I just thought that was amazing, so I popped that in there. Um, some more card. Some of this gorgeous ship's wheel. And then some more manuscript paper. So I've put the manuscript paper up and down the way, but you could obviously, I've put it in vertically, but you could use it right on it horizontally if you wanted to. So that is the middle of the first signature. I've just done it with the red thread. We've got more of this card. 
There is the other side of the receipt for passage to New York. It is a Lloyd Steamship Company and it's a passage receipt. So I think it's really cool. And then on this page, I've just put on, I've paper clipped on a couple of tags that I made. Just a wee couple of journal and spots. And I didn't want to put them in, um, you know, stick them in. So I've just clipped them on so that you can use them in either in this album or in a different one. And then we've got this. And then there is the other half of the Titanic flyer. So you can see here it says Titanic launch to be retained for admittance to stand. Number 19. So this 193. So that was um, the 193rd person that had bought the ticket to go and see her launch from Belfast. And then I've added in some more of this writing paper. And some of this beautiful card some more vellum and there she is oh no that's not her sorry that is actually the German the American ship that was sunk by the German tor torpedo probably a thousand dead the New York Times now on the back of this one I've made this pocket and again this is one of the buttons that Pip gave me and in this one there is the second class menu for the Titanic. So it's the White Star Line Triple Screw Steamer Titanic second class, 11th of April 1912. And this is the breakfast menu and it's like rolled oats, Yarmouth bloaters, grilled sausage, soda scones, buckwheat cakes. It's so cool. It's, it's just, it's fab to read through all of this. So pop that back in there and then we've got some more manuscript paper some lovely cards some more writing paper and then this here is the white star line um let me see yeah this is passenger ticket for the titanic returning on holiday but just basically, this is from the the Royal Museum, the Royal, the Royal BC Museum, and it's a copy of what you would have been given uh, for a ticket when you were going on to the Titanic, boarding the Titanic. So I thought that was interesting to add that as well. And then we've got just some more of this map paper, more manuscript paper. Sorry, I'm not doing a very good job at showing this. And then this one here is a receipt for the company Williams and Guon, I think it is, from New York. And it's for a steamboat company, and that's the receipt that you would get when you purchased a ticket. I've made another wee peg here with a button on it. I love this page. This one, it documents the Titanic's passage. Now, as you can see here, this is the line that they followed. You can see her leaving Belfast, going to Liverpool, going down through Southampton, up to Queenstown, and all the way around. Now it tells you the statistics about the passengers and the crew that were on board, how many survivors there were, how many deaths there were. Um, I just, I, I really like this page, it's really interesting. So that was the first part of her journey. And then it will go on, and we've got this one, and some more vellum. There she is. Look at that picture. That's the front of her. Wasn't she beautiful? And then, in these two pages. Now, I like these pages. This first one, I've made this pocket here. And you can see her in the background. And this is her being towed out of Belfast Harbour. You can see her wee tug ship there. And what I've included in this is facts about the time when people getting on the lifeboats. So this starts, these wee cards, and I've backed them onto cards and coloured round the edge red. For example, it says the 15th of April 1912, 12.45am, the first lifeboat was lowered with 28, only 28 people inside it, and it could fit 65. Now it goes all the way from 12.45, 2.05am, 2.17am, you can see the beautiful, look at her, she's gorgeous. And then... 
this one I've just put the wee wooden bits on it and in here you can see Captain Smith in the background and again this one goes it just follows on from the other ones and it ends at 4 10 a.m. the first lifeboat was picked up by the Carpathia so some nice interesting facts and I've put on um, a wee grommet here here is um, the other side of that receipt that was for passage by steamship and this was a steerage passage pa uh, ticket sorry now it's for seven pound and it's you will see in the next page when i show you who it was for it's actually quite sad so i've got this one and i'm um I've got a paper clip here this picture is gorgeous that is actually the the rotor of the Titanic and the dry dock and these are the workers standing underneath it. You can see how huge she was. And then we just keep going through. I've made like a wee tuck out here. And this is all about Ismay after it happened. It says, Ismay tells the Senate Committee Titanic was not seeking speed record and testifies to general ignorance of details of disaster. So, yeah. That's about Ismay. And then we get some more paper, some more card. Horrible disaster, the greatest in marine history of the world. Floating hotel in collision with iceberg early yesterday morning off New York Foundland Banks. And it just goes on to tell you a bit about what happened. 866 passengers rescued and just some more information. And then in this one, I've got the third class menu um, for the day that the Titanic sunk. Here is a different boarding pass, permission granted to come aboard April the 10th, 1912, Titanic. And this was actually from um, the Titanic attraction on, in, this one is in New York, I think. And it tells you about one of the passengers, a third class passenger, age 21. County Mayo Island and it just goes on to tell you about why they were travelling, why they were going there and so it's really interesting. And then this one is a bit about the Titanic and how she sank and Virginia Pilot newspaper. And then look at this one. I love this. This, as you can see, her blades again, and this is the guys, and she's in dry dock. Just shows you the scale of the ship, she was amazing. No wonder in that day and age they thought she was unsinkable. And then I made this pocket, and in here it's just um, first class tickets, the White Star Line. So I've printed out some of those. Now this one was the one I was talking about, it's so cool. Um, it tells you who was on it. Now, this ship was going from Dun... No, this ship was called the Dun Brody. Um, and she was travelling to New York. The three passengers that this ticket was for, it was a steerage ticket, and it was Biddy Hannon, who was 30, Michael Hannon, who was four, and William Hannon, who was two. And it was £7 for the three of them. So I know that's not to do with the Titanic, but it is sort of ship related. And I just thought it was really cool to show the prices, you know, in in the same sort of era. And then I've got more of my card. Look at this picture. Beautiful. More vellum. And then we've got some of this more beautiful card. Here is the other side of her journey. So I showed you the start of her journey, this is the end of her journey and basically this page shows you where the collision with the iceberg was, what time it was at, there's her planned destination, the wreck location and it gives you the nautical um, coordinates of where she lies in the North Atlantic. So I thought that was really good. And then more card, more paper. 
There's another ticket. Liverpool to New York. Another steamship. That one is in 1860. And then on the very back page, I've put in this article. Um, and it says, Officers sank with the Titanic, saving women till the end. Heroes of the Titanic died amid work of rescue, says First Wreck Story. And it just goes on to tell you a wee bit about what happened. And this is from the final edition of the evening edition, The World. So, yeah, I think that was really cool. So, that is all the things that I've included in this journal. Um, it's a sad, sad story, but I think it's one that we all, it's part of all of our history. Um, so, I thought I would journal it and put it all in there. So, I think it turned out really cool. So, I hope you like it. Now, I'm going to make, the next one I'm going to make is a horror movie junk journal. Yeah, the next one that I'm going to make is going to be a horror movie junk journal. And then I want to make a vampire junk journal. I was thinking of doing something like, I don't know, maybe a, a vampire hunter's journal. Either, the, either from a vampire hunter's perspective or from a vampire's perspective i don't know but i'm definitely going to do a horror movie one because if you don't know i am a massive massive horror movie fan it's one of the only genres of movie that i watch occasionally i watch comedies and things like that but horror movies are my big thing i've watched them since i was a kid my mum used to come in when i was sitting in the dark when i was like 11 year old and i'd be watching a horror movie and she would go nuts turn it off but no i just absolutely loved it i'll pop that one in the front here so, this is my Titanic junk journal. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I don't know um, if I'm going to sell it. If I have any interest in it, then I might sell it. You guys can let me know in the comments what you think, if anybody's interested in purchasing it. If not, I'm going to keep it because I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, but like I say, if somebody was interested in buying it, I maybe would sell it. But I don't know. Usually if I've got a journal to sell, I will come on and sell it and give a price. I've sold all my journals now that I had up for sale. Um, which is fab, so thank you to everybody who bought them. But um, I don't know, I, I like this one, so I'm not sure if I'm going to part with it or not. If you do want it and you want to buy it, get in touch with me. I'm not adverse to selling it, but um, I'm not going to specifically put it up for sale. But if you really, really think that, oh, I need that and I want it, I would sell it. So that is that one. And quickly, I know this has been a really long video, guys. I'm not going to go through all of this one. I'm just going to quickly show you another new project that I've been doing. And it is this one here, um, and it is the Victorian Valentine pack by Dovecraft that I've been using. It's got lots of metal embellishments, it's got the broad Anglais. I'm actually making this to send out as a rack to someone. Um, it's beautiful. I've not, obviously not finished it yet, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It's all decoupaged and it's really nice. It's a, it's a gorgeous paper pad. I got this at the, the D-Stash sale that I was at. Look at that. And it reminds me of Graphic 45. Look, can you see all the detail on that? So I'm working on that one now. It's a wee flip book, sort of flip booky album. And like I say, this is going out to somebody um, as a wee surprise. So that's what I'm working on. And that is my Titanic journal. So yeah, guys, if you like this video, please give me a wee thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell for my notifications. Um, let me know what you think of this journal like I say if you really do like it and you'd like to purchase it just give me a wee email and I'll give you a price and things or leave me a wee comment um, as I say I'm not specifically putting it up for sale because I'm not desperate to sell it usually if I make them I've been commissioned um, to do an album I will put it up for sale I will put it up on the channel and let you know that I've sold it or if I have made one specifically to sell I will put it on the channel but this one I would only sell it if somebody really, really loved it, because I do like it. So, yeah, I just wanted to come on and show you that and share a wee bit of history with you. And um, thank you for watching, everybody. And I will see you guys all again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.